Hey guys, it's the Prickly Crafter, uh, back for the second take, where I had lighting issues on the first one. Um, I'm back again after about a month. I feel like that's a good time for me. Um, I did say I was going to film around my house, um, that never happened. Um, we're back on the iPad 2, sorry, iPad 2nd Gen. Uh, pixelated quality, sorry about that, don't have a better option right now. Um, the iPhone that I was going to use is on its way to Denver with Isaac because it's his phone. Um, he is not here, so I'm recording in the living room. Yay! Um, so I'm here with the dogs, so if you hear them, somebody's probably going to jump behind me at some point. So, in the last month, I have done almost no stitching. Um, I have done a little bit, um, spread over a bunch of projects. My bug kind of went away. Um, went on vacation for the winter. Uh, so I didn't get a lot of stitching done. I didn't even get any knitting done. I didn't get any reading done, except for school, and I've done a lot of that. Um, but I still have some stuff to show, and I got haul. And it's four things, but three major ones, and I'll show you those at the end. Um, and I have a finish. Woo! First finish of 2017. Um, for some reason, Kendra, you watch this, which I doubt you do. Don't watch that. Not until next week. Um, it is February 2nd, so if it's after the weekend then do whatever you want. Anyways, hi Amy. Um, Alright, so there's been school, there's been more school, there's been planning of stuff, there's me graduating in the spring, you know, all that stuff. Um, I did get into grad school, Yay. so I start in the fall, so that's exciting. Um, other, other news... It's cold. It's very cold. Um, when I left school, it was at 20 degrees, and that was three hours ago. Um, so it's just downright cold. So the winter hat, long uh, the Under Armour, and shorts, because that's how I roll. So that's my weather update. All right, two minutes in. I feel like I said that in my last video. Let's start with the whips. The lighting in here is pretty bad. So, I'm sorry if you can't see stuff very well, but what's a girl to do? So, bump in the night. First one, we'll hold it back here. Seems to work a little better. I worked on caw. And a little bit down. Down in his neck. Um, yeah, I told you I didn't do a lot. But I got my cute little... Need a minder? Don't ask me where he's from. Wait. True North Needle Minders. What's cool about these ones is the backs are little things as well. So that's the back. And that's the front with a needle on it. So he stays on there. Well, sometimes. He just got put on there. Um, but that's Bump in the Night by Prairie Schooler. So, like I, like I said, I worked on this yesterday for like 10 minutes because that's all I had time for. And then I realized I had a homework assignment due and then went, oh no, and started working on that. So, there's that one. Um, the other one I worked on a little bit, which was Halloween Fairy by Nora Corbett. Um, I got the O and the rest part of the R done on OR and filled in... How do you do this? I haven't recorded in so long, I don't even remember. Started filling in some more of this background, which is what this very long thread is for, because I got frustrated. Um, and, forgot I did this part, I started the next round of the layers of the dress as well. So, there's that. Yeah. Like I said, not a lot, but every stitch counts. So it's a finish. Alright. Alright, 
next one. This is part of my year of whips. I hate this piece. With a passion. So much I put in like 10 stitches. <sighs> I hate this piece. It's my own design. Um, so it's not available anywhere. I wouldn't follow my design anyways. So the part that I, I think I talked about this. This symbol that I'm almost done with. I don't know, I doubt you can tell it, but it's a satin and two threads of satin, one of metallic. DMC metallic. Or the light effects, whatever. Whichever genius decided to do that, not very smart. But I can't stop now, otherwise I'd have to rip it all out and that would be unfortunate. So the other thing I noticed, which I had never seen before, which now is making me a little panicky, I used to use the water erasable markers. And I never had a problem with them because I finished things and I'd get it all out. Well, this project is three years old. I have a frame for it. Got the wire to hang it. Still haven't finished it. Um, I don't think you can see. Well, you can, actually. That was blue. It is now brown. So, I ended up rinsing the bottom half to get the lines out. And it does come out, thankfully, because if I would have lost it because of this, this would have been thrown in the garbage. Um, but I didn't do the top yet. And we're going to hand dab everything around the red thread because I don't trust it. So, and this needle minder is from um, Nifty Needle Nannies. Um, if you use those markers and you're a slow stitcher, I don't want to know what that is. There's a stain on it. I don't want to know what it is. It looks like pizza sauce. Probably from when I put it on the counter. Wow, I am scattered today. It's been a long day. Um, if you use those markers, be aware that if you leave them on for too long, brown lines. I knew that was going to happen. I should have known anyways. Alright. Next one. There's a greyhound over there. She's cold. So she wants up. So. All the stuff for the gray. Okay. So, next one is Hannah's Brownstone. Let me get this out. Hannah's Brownstone. Yep. The one I got the kit for at a uh, designer's desk, which is now closed. I'm a little sad. Granted, there's a good knitting store out there. I'll just have to go to that. But... Anywho. That's how far I've gotten on this one. So, the bricks are done. I started the roof, or the easement. I don't know what it's called. The top of the thing. And then I did the flag pole here. And then I started the flag. It's not that red. Well, the red is actually kind of orange. But that's what you get for iPad quality. iPad 2. iPad second gen. But that's how far I got on that one. I just split my lip, it's so cold. We have the heat set to like 80 in here and I'm still cold. Show me the shorts. Alright, anyways. Next one. Cubone. I think I talked about this last time. This one is from Reddit. A person on Reddit. 
if you would like it or you're interested in a Cubone design, let me know. I'll get the name off of Reddit or point you in the right direction. But that's better. I got this brown part done. I got the color I was missing. I got all of that filled in. A little bit down here. A little bit up here. I bounce. A lot. Um, got my little corset needle minder. Woo! You can't see it anyways. That's okay. I'll get a better camera soon. I promise. Uh, this one. This one again. Not a lot of work done, but it's my snowman all around. His hat is done. That is really dark. It's green and black, I promise. And then I filled in his collar all the way. All the way? All the way. Yes. Yes, I did. All the way. So a little bit of work. Not too much. Actually, most of this was done in the last two days. Let's just be honest. Um, there was probably more I worked on that is sitting up there that I don't remember. Um, I have another whip, but it's show. Excuse me, hiccups. I've had the hiccups on and off today. Ermit is the worst. Anyways, so one of the whips that I have is on part of my haul. That should give you a hint. So you'll see that one, let's just say it involves 1 over 1 on 32 count using variegated thread. It'll be a surprise. So, okay, moving into my finish. Yay! Finish! So I got this. So I'm getting some photos taken on Saturday. I forgot what day it was. And... It's my boss, dear Kendra. So I decided, don't look. I decided to do this for her. She likes, um, she likes beer, she likes brewing her own. We're in Colorado, craft brews all the way. So I got this for her, and I decided to do it kinda last minute, because that's how I roll. So, and with my mega haul, I did not get it all here. A lot of it is still in Illinois. I'm a hoarder when it comes to bringing stuff with me to Illinois, so I couldn't fit it all in the car. But I was able to grab a few things. This piece of fabric is one of them. I could probably do it again on the bottom. But there it is. I did substitute some colors. I don't think I wrote them down, but I can tell you. Instead of... 645, which is a gray. I use 453. It's pretty accurate, surprisingly enough, um, for the gray color because I didn't have it and I didn't want to go to Joann's for one color because I'd buy more stuff. Probably more yarn. I don't need any more yarn. Let's be honest, I need more yarn. But whatever. So there it is. It will be framed. This weekend? Maybe? I need to find a frame. Which is why I left all the fabric on the outside or around it. Um, but I think it turned out really cute. Can you see it? It's adorable. I got it on one, two, three stitch. So it's easy to get. It wasn't too expensive. I don't think. Um, and it took me a couple of days. I could have finished it in one day. Do you notice that you ever get working on a piece and then you just all just, like you're almost done and then you're like, meh. I think it was Tracy that said that. Tracy P. Don't know that. Or was Jesse Marie? Ah, it's a long time ago. Um, but that happened with this. And then I got some new things to play with and then I finished it. Um, so that is the finish. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's all the whips I have that I'm that I've worked on enough to show anyways. So if you don't like haul, now's the time to go. Um so I got some super awesome things with Christmas and stash unload funds. Um and I'm really excited. I feel like a professional stitcher now because the dog is going to start chewing on something. Okay. Let's hopefully this doesn't what, what, wash me out of here. Look. Do you see it? Wait for it. Yes. Okay. All three things are in this photo. You have the cart from Target, which eh, 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 cart from Target, which holds my needle minders, which is even more awesome. You also have the Lowry stand. Ooh. You then have quantum frames that I figured out how to work, which I'm surprised at. Whoop. There's a pattern in there. Just kidding, you couldn't see that anyways because my crappy camera. So. That's my start. Isn't it cute? Eh, eh. It's a peacock. It's so cute. It is on. Ooh, let's go back down. To the bottom. <laughs> so that was all three. That was my haul, all in one shot. Um, Rolly cart, Lowry stand, and quantum frames. Super exciting stuff. Um. Quantum frames did take me a bit. Um, I actually was going to do that piece two over two, and then started. I like literally was holding the needle above the fabric and went, "Let's just do this one over one." So I cut this huge piece of fabric for a one over one piece, which is fine. Um, I think whenever I become a millionaire, I want to get the shorter sides and longer rods because I have a lot of large pieces but really they're like shorter I don't know if I'm, I could just be rambling anyways I want shorter I think Tracy has them the short sides um these ones were I mean they're great I I really do like I now that I understand it like how it works I'm good I think but this is going to stay on there anyways because it's the only piece I have. And I have two of those sets. And then I have... Stabbing myself. To break them. And then these are... These are the short ones actually. So I have two sets of these. They smell so good. Mm, just love it. And the little little thingamajigs. Um, and then that set that's on there is the long set. So I have two of these, which I can't even use right now. I need to make pieces longer. Um, add the extra fabric. Usually I only have three inches on each side, so now I need to not do that. I need to make them longer. Rare. The dog is obsessed with food. She goes over to our other dog's bowl and just licks it and licks it and licks it for about mm, three hours after we leave. Or after she's done eating. She's like, there must be a particle. Now she's in her bowl. Anyway. <laughs> They're goofy little dogs. They're not little. Well, little dog's little. I digress. So, quantum frames, I really like them so far. I need to add more fabric to the ends so that I can wrap it. Or, I mean, I could add some and sew it on, but that's effort. That's effort. I don't have effort. Um, 
So the finished design on the piece that is on the frame is going to look like this. It's called Pretty and Peacock, right? Pretty as a Peacock. There we go. Um, I'm doing it in the DMC variegated, I think. Yeah. Um, so I'm right here. It's right there, out of this whole thing. Just right there. But I literally started it like an hour ago. And then I had to prep for this video. And then, yeah. Anyways, wow, this video is, I am really out of it today. Kita, say hi. It's really hard to get a picture of a black dog. Um, we've learned that the hard way. <laughs> All of our pictures of her is just a black blob, or you're like, what? What are you taking a picture of? Um, yeah. So, that's all I have. 21 minutes, not bad. And hopefully I will be able to stitch some more. That's my plan for tonight. Um... I do have one more thing, but I need to consult the handy dandy computer. Okay, so for any of my subscribers, the, if you're not, that's cool too. Um, if you are interested in Let's Play videos, I know some of you guys are gamers as well. Um, not like hard, well, you can be hardcore gamers cool. This is fun. Um, even if you play casual, like I do, I play, this is not stitchy related, so bye if you don't want to hear about it. Um, I just know Floss Tube's a really cool community. We talk about books, we talk about other crafts. Um, so I thought about it, I talk about one of my other hobbies. And do a little bit of a shout out. So one of my coworkers, Amy, her sister, does uh, a, just started a channel um, for Let's Play videos. Um, her name is Lost Marmot, and I'll put that in, in below um, with her name. And she started doing Let's Play videos, and she did um, Stardew Valley, which is a game that I had been wanting for a while. Um, I still do. And I get paid tonight, so that might happen. Um, don't know how that will happen, but it could. Um, go ahead, and if you have 22 minutes, um, it's her first video. Um, send some love that way. Um, if you're not interested, whatever. I'm just rambling. I do that a lot. We all know this. I ramble and ramble and ramble. And then I hit 30 minutes and I'm like, what was I doing? Um, so I'll put her name below. Um, if you're interested in learning about that game, I know she'll have some more. Um, I really enjoyed it. So sweet. Um, yeah. Shout out. So yeah. Okay. Now I'm done. Now I'm just fishing for stuff. So, I will see you guys soon. Hopefully, I'll get some stuff done on this one. This is going to be my obsession for a little bit, I think. Mainly because of the frames. <laughs> but, um, if anyone's wondering, you can put Q-snaps in the Lowry stand. Um, I was using it. I just use a grime guard on the side. Um, if I don't have a grime guard... Or if I don't have the right size grime guard, I just use my 11 by 11 on the smaller ones and just, just to protect my fabric and stuff. Um, I have not had an issue with it. It's been great. Love it. Don't know how I lived without it. That is the Lowry Stand Review. I'll talk to you guys later.